I think regardless of the scale of the watershed, a lot of the life history tactics are the same across the territory and the habitat requirements are the same. And the long-term goal is to, is to have that vision of preserving those critical habitats to give bull trout and, and other species a, a shot in the long run in a really dynamic environment. Maintaining diversity and, and maintaining a number of life history strategies and, and large connected watersheds with multiple meta populations. Diversity is key in, in preserving that in the, in the long run. So I, yeah, I guess in this instance, our main capture technique is, is angling because we're trying to capture these fairly aggressive bull trout. It's just a, a quick way to, to capture quite a few and prepare them for surgery. Preserving the habitat features that support diversity across connected watersheds is our main goal for Sig Indian Territory. This is the basis on which we're building a nationwide collaborative fish program. I'm Bryce O'Connor, I'm a fisheries biologist at Tucho Environmental. Once we have them in the bucket, we prepare them for surgery. We anesthetize them with clove oil and streamline the process to reduce our handling time. And when we're conducting surgeries, animal care is first and foremost. The anesthetic is used to knock them out for no more than two to three minutes. We use a small scalpel to make a four to five millimeter incision where we insert the radio tag. Then we close up the incision with uh, three interrupted sutures. Um, after that, recovery time from the anesthetic is about two to three minutes. The release location is usually near the capture location. You don't want to relocate animals because you want to minimize your impact on their behavior so it doesn't affect your study outcomes. Tagged fish therefore represent the rest of the population so if you relocate them or cause any harm whatsoever during the surgery it impacts your results. So following release you can manually track radio tags. We walk through the watershed with a radio antenna and receiver listening for detections. When we get a detection we can see the unique serial code and we have a specific location where that radio tag was found. Manual tracking in addition to fixed location receivers so that we can better understand wide scale movement patterns um, is important to just increase the number of detections you have so you get more insight from a data set. Uh, in Sigma Denai territory, there's three different life history strategies for bull trout. Fluvial migratory, fluvial resident, and ad fluvial fish, which utilize lakes. Population in this particular watershed are fluvial resident bull trout, meaning they move through a relatively short watershed length. Habitat requirements within their critical habitats are large, unembedded gravels and cobbles, uh, lots of groundwater, and a stable hydrograph below 11 degrees Celsius maximum summer water temperature. Without these habitat conditions, bull trout cannot exist in a watershed. It's a critical part of the work that we do, learning new skills on every job and just learning from each other. Having a good mentor is really critical. I've been able to get some excellent experience and tips from my mentors, and I want to pass that on as my career develops. You know, being able to talk through complex methods, develop solutions together is a, just a big part of our day to day. And we make time to do that too. So it benefits all the fisheries programs, every project that we work on, every population. In this case, we're performing a necropsy on fish that were collected for this study. We'll work through best practices for extracting samples such as otoliths and fin rays. And then this is also an opportunity for new team members to practice incisions and sutures. So um, you can kind of get hands on fish when there isn't the pressure of operating on a live animal. And then when someone's confidence and precision is there and everybody's feeling good, we can take those skills out into the real world. Of course, this is the main goal of our work is to put a team together that's capable of implementing a, a nationwide fisheries program in Sigue Dana territory to understand the fish, understand their habitats and habitat requirements, um, be able to implement.
that understanding and say good any values to uh, to be able to allow give these fish a chance to persist in the long term.